medical nine and medical four. Didn't know, didn't know, didn't know what you wanted. Trust yourself We were so, we were so, we were so high up in love But not enough to bring us back from where we fell I feel paralyzed Looking in your eyes We're made perfectly Welcome to another shift of a day in the life of Christian Nurse If you guys are new here, welcome, my name is Mimi Make sure you subscribe If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up also, if you have any comments, leave a comment down below or on my other forms of social media. Now let's check it. I got these comments so many times on my TikTok on how we're allowed to have phones in my prison. So I ended up just pinning the response on my TikTok page. You can go to my TikTok, which is linked below for the response. Or the long story short is we just can. I'm the type that will always respond to comments, whether it's on my TikTok, my Instagram or here, just because I want to give you guys a better idea of what we do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So someone pointed this out on my last video and that was a really great observation because no one else has pointed this out. So these, I do know, they unlock where we, oops. Get it. Keep all of our shirts. Needles, scissors, because all sharps have to be locked. But, so if somebody thought those were my keys, they're not my keys. I actually keep my keys in my pocket. And they're assigned to us by number. So yes, they're not they're not my keys. Um, but and the question was, what happens if somebody stole these keys? Or just in general, what happens if somebody stole seals keys and they get from one place to another? So for us, you can't get into the medical unit without like using a key to get in. You can't get out. So perfect example. See, you can't get out in all doors. Are locked. So yeah, you can't get out. But that was a great observation. So thanks for pointing it out. So today I'm on clinic and sick calls. Sick call just means basically anything that they need or they're not feeling well. They sign up for a sick call and then we meet with them to see what we can do for them. So we're really just dispensing over-the-counter medications. If it's a little something more complicated, then we have to put a medical referral in for them to meet with the providers. As I said before in my other vlogs, we have dentists, we have x-ray techs, we have a bunch of different specialties here because I, we try our best not to send the inmates out. Because when they go out, they have to go out in shackles. I loved you the same this whole time, so tell me, mm, what's on your mind? And I'm not here to hear you say you're fine. I can take the pain you hold inside. I want to know, want to see it. Can I feel your grip tonight? Can't get this off my mind. I does it on your control here. Let me in, I'll help you out. I won't lose you this time. You think you're too far, but I'm where you are, you know I said I ooh, won't leave your side They left you bare, but 
But I'm begging you, stare in my eyes for you. Yeah, I took my life. Medical nine and medical. Four. We've been having a little more medical emergencies, and I think it's because it's the holidays and more people are getting locked up. And with more people getting locked up, you have more rivalries coming in. In one of my last videos, I got a comment about how calm I am during medical emergencies. My first one, I felt like I was going to have a freaking heart attack. Sometimes you have no clue what's going on and you're just supposed to go in there. I've been in during riots, shankings, anything you can really think of, I've been a part of it. So after a while, you just kind of get used to it. And now I'm just trying to figure out where the other nurse is because we're supposed to be going in it together. Right now, I'm the one who's carrying the bag because I'm primary. And then the next person carries the oxygen tank. Okay. You guys saw from the other vlog, that one was pretty intense. However, this one was just a panic attack, but it was presenting as a heart attack. And guys enjoying my shift so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can get notified on all the fun. Get this off my mind I does it on you control you Let me in, I'll help you out I won't lose you this time Drowning in the lost emotion Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes But I got up out of the hopeless Yeah, I got over you last night wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever? Thought I would never see the light You didn't need me, so I went looking for somebody better Thought I'd be sadder, but I'm fine Washing my tears away, I watch my heartbreak go down the drain hey, my heartbreak go down When I work, I normally bring like 10 different drinks that one just had my soda in it, but prior to that, it had coffee. And then this one has water. I always carry my water. I thought this cheetah print was so cute. I ended up getting her from TJ Maxx. I think it was like $14.99. I don't even feel the echo of your touch. I've never been so in control. Only love I need is mine. But wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever? Thought I would never see the light. You didn't. Funny story about Metamucil. The first time I ever did this, I was mixing it because I'm like, okay, well, it kind of looks like cake batter. So I continued to mix it. I didn't realize it was going to get thicker and thicker. Yeah, I thought eventually I was going to get all the bubbles out. Make it nice and smooth. Isn't greener on your side You're wishing we were together But I'm not Just watch
forgot that I put their nicotine patches in the back of my pocket because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. As you guys know, when I give them a nicotine patch, I have to collect the old ones. So these were the grody, dirty old ones. You take me over. I'm stuck on your view. And your clarity. As you guys know, I always preach this, and this is a perfect example. Always hold your hand about an inch to two inches above where you drop your needle. Perfect example. It's almost full. Now, if somebody put their needle sticking up, you would have poked your hand. Then you'd be paranoid, waiting for your test results, wondering about what you could have got. So it's better to be overcautious than underestimate the situation. Guys, know I always like setting up for the next one to make it a smooth transition for them to come in and out. Also, always check which insulin you are using. Not everybody gets the same insulin. Thanks for coming along with me on my shift. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you can come along with me on my next shift. <laughs>